So welcome back guys to another tutorial in Kids Coding Playground. Today we're going to be evaluating to the math game. So we're going to turn it into a math racing game. Um, we convert it from the math game. So if you have not done the math game, you guys should do the math game first before working on this one. And the players uh, will have to answer a math question. And every question it answers correctly, it'll move forward. If it doesn't answer any questions correctly, it'll just stay put. And the dog is controlled by the AI. It'll just move amount of uh, like six steps or something like every second and if um, the dog touches the finish line before the cat then you lose but if the cat touches the finish line before the dog then the dog loses so you want to beat the objective of the game is just to beat the dog and today we'll be learning these following concepts in scratch uh, actually we will not be using variables and custom blocks this is from the last episode so that's why it has these but we will be using the broadcast message loops. I don't think we'll be using operator blocks, but we'll be using some of these concepts in here. So let's go back to our project. So I'm going to change this music right here because um, we don't want to get flag our video flagged for copyright. So that's not a good thing. So our video might get taken down if we do copyrighted music. So I'm going to show you the game now. So I added some modifiers to this game, like credits and all that stuff. But... And I also added an intro. You guys can add that if you want as well. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit. So I added an intro. It was pretty simple to make. So these we will not need to get into because I did uh, music. Um, so let's go with multiplication because it's the easiest. So if you get a question wrong, you'll just stay put. If you get it right, then you move forward. If you get it right, then you move, keep on moving forward. So I'm going to try to beat this real quick. 81. 81. So as you can see, um, I'm pretty fast right now, and the score still goes up right here. So let's finish this real quick. And I made it a little bit more funny, so like when you lose, it'll say that you failed or something. Um, uh, we're almost there. Oops. Uh, boom. I think we got there. I win. And then it'll just say, great job. You beat the dog. Press the flag to play again. And now you can enjoy the music. So that's what I did at the end. So that's what I have. So let's go to our project we were working on. Okay, so now we are inside our project we were, work we were working on earlier. So this is the one I've been teaching you guys with. So we're gonna go to the cat and we're, I, in the beginning I set the, uh, I made it go to, um, I think negative 204 negative 204, negative 58. And I also set the size of the cat to 60. Um, set the size of the cat to 60. And I'm actually gonna upload some uh, um, backdrops into this one. So let's go to backdrops. Backdrops. So I have the, um, this is the winning, winning screen. These are the intros. Um, and this is the track, the racetrack. Actually, I'm gonna move this up right here. This is the racetrack. So, this is the racetrack for it. And this doesn't look very good. It's not very proportionate. So, I just moved it to the left a little bit. So, now it's covering the whole screen. So, now let's go to the cat. Put down the backpack again. So, I set it to negative 204 and Y negative 58. I set the size to 60 so it'll be, be between the tracks and then for right here for like every single right answer we're gonna have to do this so when um, after this when the answer is correct we need to broadcast a message let's call it correct answer correct answer so this will go to the um, cat when it receives correct answer so it'll move forward so we're gonna do that or here as well. We're gonna have to do it for every single one. 
in here, and finally in here. So that's it for here. And then now we're gonna have to receive the message. So when I receive correct answer, then we wanna repeat 10 times, move three steps. So basically moving 30 steps, move three steps. And then I did next costume, wait 0 0.1 seconds. So it'll look like it's running. Wait, zero, one seconds. And then if it's touching the finish line, and I have to get the finish line, which I don't have, so I'm gonna get that quickly. Okay, so I just got the finish line from my other project. So what I did for the finish line is basically a uh, rectangle, just a long rectangle. So if you show it, I put it right there. Maybe move it like right there. Actually, I might have to like elongate it a little bit. There you go. Center it. A little bit smaller. Uh, and look at that. Yeah, that looks fine. So that's going to be my um, finish line. It's just a rectangle. So I'm going to go back into my cat. Let's go to the code. And then um, if, get an if then statement, if it is touching the finish line, touching finish line, then I will make it say, I win. Uh, I win for two seconds, I guess. I win. And then I'm gonna switch the backdrop to uh, this backdrop. Um, this one. This backdrop, so tell them that they won. So I'm gonna go into cat and then make it switch to backdrop five, which is the winning backdrop. And then I'm gonna stop the script after you win. Or you can just put stop all. I'm just gonna put stop all. Um, and then now let's go to the dog. So I've, I've from the, I just got the dog from the sprite library. So let's go dog. This dog, I just got this one. So I made it go uh, when it receives start game, which is a broadcast I made, I believe. Uh, start game right here then i want to show in the beginning uh go to front layer and repeat repeat until it's touching the finish line just like the uh cat um touching finish line so we're gonna make it move six steps that's what i did move six steps and then i'm gonna next costume Wait one second, so his two costumes are like sticking on his tongue. So I'm gonna make it wait one second instead. And then if he is touching the finish line, then I'll make him say, I beat you for two seconds. I beat you for two seconds. And then I'm gonna play the sound dog so i just put in the sound that's what i did and then i'm gonna broadcast a message called you lose you lose um and then i'm gonna hide and stop all so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna get a one flag clicked show and i made the uh uh, dog go to negative 183 negative 2 for the x and y position and I made him hide and actually we actually don't even need this show I don't even know why I put it there but um, when the backdrop switches to backdrop 5 which is the winning screen I wanted to hide so when backdrop switches to backdrop 5 then hide. Got to do the same thing with the cat, so backdrop switches to hide. And then finally, for the backdrop, remember for I made like a little intro of the end flashing in the back. I know it's not a good intro, but you guys can do anything else. So when I receive start game in the beginning, I want to switch backdrop to backdrop one which is the first backdrop, this one. 
so after that, I'm gonna one fly clicked. Uh, actually, no, we switched to backdrop two. Sorry about that. So when you start the game, you switch to backdrop two, and then we're gonna get one fly clicked. Repeat five times. Switch backdrop to backdrop seven. Backdrop to backdrop seven, which is the um the flashing stuff. I'm gonna wait 0 0.35 seconds. That's what I did. 35. I just experimented until I found the right number, and then I'm gonna switch the backdrop back to backdrop eight, and then after that, I switch backdrop to backdrop two. Actually, no, we're switching it right here. I forgot about that. So we're gonna do backdrop one right here for now. And then I'm gonna get a forever loop. Set the volume to 40% because you actually don't you don't have to do that, but I actually had a medieval sound because but back then I had another song that was really loud, so I set it to 40%. So I actually did the medieval medieval one sound. You guys can pick whatever sound you want. And then I'm just gonna play the sound medieval one and solo. So for the finish line. I'm gonna get a one fly clicked, go to this position, and hide. 228, Y negative 22. That's where it is right now. Um, and then when backdrop switches to backdrop 2, then we can show, which is backdrop 2 is the... Oops, backdrop 2 is the racing backdrop, so I'm gonna show. And then after that, when backdrop switches to backdrop five, then we're also gonna hide. So yeah. So yeah, that's the code for the finish line. So I'll show on the racing backdrop and I'll hide on the backdrop five, the winning backdrop. So I think that's pretty much it. Let's see what else we can add. Oh yeah, and a losing, losing screen. Yeah, losing. So I'm gonna paint a new sprite. I'm gonna make it like a red color. Um, put marker because it's easy to read. Remember, you lose. Okay. So remember, we broadcasted fail on the um. So you can hold down Alt if you want. So it'll keep the sprite centered when you make it bigger. So when the dog right here. Touches the finish line, it'll broadcast you lose. So we're gonna get a one fly click right here. I wanna hide this in the beginning. And I'm gonna make it go to zero zero, which is the origin. Make it go to zero zero. And then when I receive um you lose, then I wanna show and go to the front layer. Go to the front layer and show. So that's pretty much it. Let's try it out now. Everyone, I found out a bug while I was testing. So, in the beginning, you want to actually hide. I actually got the uh, backdrops incorrect. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, up here, where it's supposed to have a one flag clicked, you have to replace it with the switch. When this backdrop switches to backdrop one, then you will execute all this code under here. So, that's one mistake I did. And the other is inside the um, backdrop, I think. Yeah. And these two are backwards. I actually did it wrong. I actually did it as backdrop one earlier, which is wrong. So you have to switch these two. So that was um, wrong. So and the dog. One last thing. I wanted to make this dog at size 65. I think. Yeah, I said at 65. So let's try it out now. It should work. So as you can see, the intro plays. And I'll say, let's play a math game. Answer the following questions. Press the quit button to stop all answers. Uh, choose one of the operations at random. So, let's see. So that's correct. You move forward. So it's working, as you can see. So I'm gonna try to beat this dog. Uh, and after I beat the dog, I'm gonna let you guys see 
what happens if the dog wins. I'm gonna like set the dog at going like 20 steps every time, so or, like 50 or something like that. So I can show you guys what happens. Almost there. I think one more should do. There we go. So now, great job, you beat the dog. Oh yeah, and I can also make this hide. If you want to do that, quit. You can just say when backdrop switches, when backdrop switches to backdrop five, which is the winning backdrop, then you can hide. So yeah, as you can see, it is working right now. So I will show you what happens when you lose. So let's do that, make it like 50 steps. And yes, I need to show this in the beginning. When I click hide, and when backdrop switches to backdrop two, I think is the racing one. Yeah, so switch to backdrop two. So we can quit. When backdrop switches to backdrop two, then we want to actually show this. So let's try it out this time. I will let the dog win. I put it at 50 steps or something like that. beat me already so looks like the dog is going pretty fast so it'll say I beat you and then it'll say you lose as you can see so that's it for this tutorial on how to make a math racing game uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye